Hello friends, welcome to my channel, The Invisible Max Teacher. Today I am here in front of you with uh, another part of the chapter circles. So let us proceed. Here our new topic in this chapter is two chords. Okay, here you can see I have drawn three circles and different types of chords are drawn inside these circles. So let us move on to the first figure. Here you can see two chords are there like this A, B. A, B is a chord. Another one, C, D. Okay. A, B, C, D. Now here you can see there is one meeting point. Here at this point. Let that point be P. Now, how can we write the formula for such type of intersecting points between the two chords inside a circle? That is, what, wherever be the two chords, if the intersecting point P is inside the circle, then the formula which we are going to write today is like this. From this meeting point, from this intersecting point, PA into PB, like this. PA into PB is equal to PC into PD. PC into PD. Clear? That is, first consider one chord from the meeting point, from this intersecting point to one end and to the other end. Multiply is equal to Consider the other second chord from this intersecting point to this one end and to the other end and multiply. You can see that always the, their product are equal. Okay. Now moving on to second figure. Here also you can see two chords are there. A, B, C and D. You can see that one chord it is passing through the diameter so which is the longest chord and the second chord cd here cd chord it is perpendicular see it is perpendicular and this intersecting point again i'm marking it as point p only clear please understand the difference between these two here in both these figures the chords are inside only and the intersecting points are inside but here one chord here a b is diameter and CD is perpendicular to AB. So hope you understood this uh, difference. Then how can we write? Again as we did here we know the intersecting point is inside. So for, like this PA into PB. PA into PB is equal to PC into PD. PC into PD. But here you can see that as this is the diameter of the circle, we know it is now divided into two equal halves, right? The circle is completely divided into two equal halves. So if you draw a chord like this, like this, and if you draw a line at the center then we know that these two parts are equal this up part and lower upper part and lower part they are of equal length that is this pc and pd are of equal length so here pa into pb is equal to instead of pd i can write pc itself or instead of pc i can write pd then what will be the answer yes we have PA into PB is equal to PC square. Okay. This is the formula for such type of codes. PA into PB is equal to PC square. Here PA into PB is equal to PC into PD. Now moving on to third one. Here the two chords are not meeting anywhere inside the circle. Suppose the center is here. You can see that the chords they are not intersecting inside the circle. But when you extend them they will be meeting at a point P outside the circle. Then the formula is again 
from this P only P to one end P to the other end so how do we write yes P A into P B is equal to same thing here also P C into P D P C into P D but please keep in mind that here the point is outside still we have to consider the length from this point itself P to A and P to B multiply then this side P to C and P to D multiply okay so these are the three different types of figures which we have to consider here in this part of the chapter yes children now let us move on to some examples based on this concept here the question is in the figure if pb is equal to 2 centimeter pc is equal to 3 centimeter pd is equal to 4 centimeter then find ab okay so here i have marked all the measurements pb is equal to 2 centimeter pc is 3 centimeter pd is equal to 4 then how much is pa that is the question so here we know we we studied now three models so here this question is based on the first model here the two chords are inside the circle the intersecting point is uh, sorry two chords are obviously inside the circle but the intersecting point is inside the circle and none of them is a diameter so which is that yes our first model so what is the formula we can start with from p we have to start p a into same code other end pb now moving on to second code from p p to c pc into the other end of the same code pd how much is pa we don't know pb is equal to 2 pc 3 and pd is 4 so here we have pa into 2 is equal to 12 so p a is equal to 12 by 2 therefore p a is equal to 6 centimeters okay so if i write here 6 you can see that 6 into 2 is 12 4 into 3 is also 12 that is this concept okay yes children another example chords a b and c d intersect at point p here you can see it is intersecting p a is equal to 9 centimeters so we can start marking p a is equal to 9 p d is equal to 12 a b is equal to 13 from here a b is equal to 13 then find p b P C and C D. So how can we do this one? Okay, here look here, children. This part of the chord is 12. A P is equal to 9. Then we know total length is 13. Then how much will be remaining? From this 13, 9 is gone. So remaining you will be having 4 there, right? 4 you have. 9 plus 4 is 13 now coming on to the formula here we have two chords inside the circle sorry uh, intersecting point of the two chords are inside the circle and none of the chords are diameters so how can we write the formula we have p a p a into p b is equal to p c into p d now substitute all the values here you have p a is equal to 9 PB is equal to 4 is equal to PC we don't know and PD is equal to 12. 9 into 4 is 36. So PC into 12. So how much is your PC? 36 divided by 12. How much is 36 by 12? Yes, PC is equal to 3 centimeters. Okay, so here now we got pc is equal to 3 centimeters so we got 3 here this is 3 now how much will be pb pb they were asked you so it is 4 then what about cd this complete cd means 
3 plus 12. How much it is? Yes, see, 3 plus 12 is 15. So, we got all the answers. Yes, children, now moving on to another set of question. Here the question is, a line through center of a circle cuts a chord into two parts. Okay, a, a line through the center of the circle cuts a chord into two parts. Find the radius of this circle and the measurements are also given here. It's already given. AP is equal to 4. PB is equal to 6. And OP is equal to 5. OP is equal to 5. So, we have to find the radius of the circle. So, here whenever such type of questions come, okay, one chord is there, another part of the chord is there, you try to complete that figure. So, here first let me complete the figure by drawing, by joining this line, okay. This is center of the circle O. From here, I am going to extend this line now, see. Extend it. Now, we got two complete chords. Okay, so let the this point be C and this point as D. Now we know from center of the circle to a point on the circle we have radius. Next one, from O to D is complete radius, right? O to D, O, o to D is equal to radius of the circle. But we have OP is equal to 5, this much part is 5. Then what will be remaining, how much will be PD? Yes, PD is equal to R minus 5. So, here I can write R minus 5. So, now let us check out. Here the two chords of the circle are intersecting at a point P inside the circle. So, we have one general formula PA into PB is equal to PC into PD. Okay, now what is PA here? We have 4 and PB is equal to 6. What is PC from point P to C? How much it will be? Yes, 5 plus R or I can write it as R plus 5 into how much is PD? This small portion it is R minus 5. 6 into 4 is 24. Here we have of the pattern A plus B into A minus B which is equal to A square minus B square. So here A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. Here we can consider R as A and B as 5. So how do we write in this form? R square minus R square minus 5 square right a square minus b square so 24 is equal to r square minus 25 bring this minus 25 to the other side we have 24 plus 25 is equal to r square 49 is equal to r square okay then i can write 49 is equal to simply r so here we have R is equal to 49 means 7 into 7. R is equal to whenever you bring a number outside the root it will be like this actually plus or minus 7. So it can either be plus 7 or minus 7. But we know that length cannot be negative. Yes or no? We can't say radius of the circle is minus 7 centimeters. So what is the radius of the circle? Yes, radius of the circle is 7 centimeters okay okay children now here we have another question the question is radius of the circle with the center at o is 6 centimeter radius of the circle is 6 and pa is equal to 4 centimeter it's marked here pb is equal to 5 centimeter marked then the question is to find OP that is this portion we have to find again as I told you in the previous question whenever such type of questions come please try to complete the second code like this okay so now we can mark this one as C and D now they have given you radius of the circle is 6 question is to find OP so let me consider the length of OP as X 
okay now you know from o to d is radius of the circle in this total six if x part is gone then what will be remaining here yes you will have out of six x is gone then the remaining part will be six minus x now we have the general formula so how can we write down b a into b b is equal to b c into p d p a is equal to four p b is equal to five how much is p c from this point p to c yes it is six plus x what about p d the small portion it is six minus six four into five is twenty this is again of the format a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square so here let a be 6 and b be x so a square minus b square 20 is equal to 36 minus x square now you can bring this plus 36 to the other side it becomes minus 36 is equal to minus x square now how much is 20 minus 36 yes you have minus 16 is equal to minus x square minus minus cancels now you have 16 is equal to x square then what is the next step yes bring the square to the other side so you have 16 is equal to x so x is equal to 16 means 4 into 4 so x is equal to plus or minus 4 again here you can consider either plus 4 or minus 4 but here look children the length cannot be negative so you can ignore this one therefore the length or a length x is equal to 4 centimeter which is the length of this op okay yes children now moving on to another model here in the figure p a is equal to 3 centimeters so let me mark here 3 okay AB is equal to 9 centimeter, PC is equal to 4 centimeter, then find CD. We have to find CD. Here you can see even though the chords are inside, but the two chords they will intersect at a point P only outside the circle. So here also we have the formula like this that is PA into PB is equal to pc into pd that is from pa into pb is equal to pc into pd okay how much is pa 3 what about pb pb is not 9 pb means from this point always play with your fingers here for p is here b is here how much is the total measurement 9 plus 3 how much 12 is equal to pc we have 4 what about pd from this point to this point i told you always keep your fingers like this p to d is 4 plus cd 4 plus cd then how can we open the bracket 12 into 3 is 36 so 36 this into 4 if you take to the other side it becomes by 4 then you have 4 plus cd one time nine times so nine is equal to four plus cd nine minus four is equal to cd so you have cd is equal to five centimeters okay so your cd is equal to five hope this concept is very clear Yes children, if you find this video useful, please do share, subscribe and press on the bell icon for getting the notifications. Thank you.